Today on my channel, Planner Friends, we are going to create a journaling layout in my Print Pression Weeks Planner. Stay tuned. Hi, Planner Friends. Today on my channel, I am going to be working in my Print Pression Weeks Planner. Uh, I'm using this for journaling and yeah, I'm using Coco Daisy, a lot of the free printables as I'm putting this together. So let's set up the next week or so. If you're new to my channel, I'm One Crafty Dolo. Uh, you're welcome to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my videos. So this is what I'm doing. I haven't finished all this yet. I'm gonna have some journaling time later. But what I did last month is I decided every month I'm gonna pick a new author. And this last month it was Emily Dickinson. This month it's Walt Whitman. And I dig out some great quotes from them and so forth. Now these are some of the printable, free printables. If you subscribe, there's I think four kits at Coco Daisy. If you subscribe to these are free. So you can print them out as much as you want. I love the color scheme of this kit, uh, their Koi Pond kit. This is obviously too big, but what I think I'm going to do is just give this a snip and use it on two different pages. And I'm not using this as a to-do list, so I may cover that. Uh, I don't know if I got that completely straight, but that's okay. So I want to set this up for journaling for this next week. I'm really thrilled with this um, I hate to call it a planner, but I guess it is. I I think the creativity, it's kind of bullet journaling, rudimentary bullet journaling for me. I know some people track everything and do all the things. This is just journaling and enjoying. So I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And, whoops, feels like this needs a little more down here. There we go. I don't know if I want to add some, I might add a little bit of the colorful washi here to kind of cement it down. Whenever I use washi, I make a clean cut because it's, you're pulling at it, you're tugging it. And let's try this, whoops. <laughs> yeah, we'll just cut off a little snip and I want to get the yellow of this fan in there because of the yellow here. So I think that will look good. Good. Let's put that right. I'm going to just cover it there today. So it's not things I need to do today. It's just kind of a today. There we go. Good. All right. So yes, I've been using stencils to create the layouts in here. I think I'm going to use this just as a journaling page. So I had two thoughts. I can continue to use these letters from Coco Daisy or I use these in my personal planner, um, these cute stamps. And I'm actually, let's see if I can, how large they are. Yeah, it might be tight to write journal. Or what did I do here? Yeah, I put journal. So I think I will do that again. <sighs> I'll just use these, it's fine. If it was a shorter word, no problem. Whoops, I got an E in here. So I don't know if you journal, if you're doing any journaling challenges. Uh, I'm not doing any challenges right now. I'm just doing it as I want. I don't do it every week in the month, but mostly. And I like interspersing the quotes, like I said. They're just little gentle reminders of what's important. You know, keep me on track, keep me focused. And I love reading all the time so yeah and I thought um, Whitman was perfect for late spring early summer uh, do I know all the quotes by heart no I don't some of the Emily Dickinson ones I did know but I I double checked just to make sure I had it right and yeah There we go. It's not perfectly straight, 
first off, my visual, I'm visually challenged, but aside from that, I'm really working to overcome my own perfectionism tendencies. So yeah, I'm trying to get away from that. Now, I would normally use my stencils, but I almost wonder if I can use these, even if I cut them in half. So for example, like I would do here, I did that, and again, I'm not done with that. But here, like I did those. Um, See what else I've gotten here. These, right? I think just looking at this, this is so pretty. I actually think I'm going to use these, and I think I will. They're, well, they're pretty, kind of large, but you know what? That's okay. Let's do that. I was gonna thinking of doing a half, but that's fine. The whole is fine. Maybe we'll keep. I don't know if we want to do different colors. You know what? Let's put the fish one next. And these will be little blurbs that I just happen to jot things down, things to make me happy, etc. Actually, that's cute. Okay. I wouldn't have necessarily done this on my own. Like it. Love it. Good. And the last one, I could finish with this again, or I could finish with that. And I think we're going to use that. Okay. It looks a little smushed on the bottom, so I wonder if I can carefully... Bring this up a little bit. Bring, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, bring this very slowly. If you're peeling off stickers, you definitely wanna make it slow. <laughs> Otherwise you're ripping everything up. And it also depends on the paper. I do find if I'm ripping stickers my Erin Condren paper is a little coarser. It's great paper, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it isn't, but pulling stickers off of it can be a little tougher. So this is one of my stencils here, and I can put in some days here if I want. The question is, I was gonna use my colored pencils, but I have some of these from Illustrated Faith. Very thin, markers, but I don't know that I want to do the days of the week here, so I think I'm just going to make some boxes. Let's see here. Slowly, the more I do it, my stenciling techniques are improving. You know, you gain confidence as you go on. Two. Put this one over here, so they're not matchy-matchy. Still not perfect, as you can see. That's okay. And I'll put one down here. There we go. Okay. We are getting there. Okay, so now I have to finish this week. I'm tracking here. I have this for journaling. And yes, that is not quite perfect, and I'm good with that. These boxes, how am I going to decorate these boxes? That's the question. <sighs> do I want to use stickers? Do I want to use stenciling? Oh, I know what I can do. Huh. I can use these. Okay. Let's use our brown ink. Um, and let's see. Okay. This is always longer, these videos. Tell you what, I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping here and I'll be right back. Okay, so this one got a little, fell off the edge there a little bit, but we've got those together. Now what I would like to do is add some embellishments here. And how I think I'm gonna do that is to continue with this washi tape. I was gonna do some stenciling, but I kinda really wanna get this washi tape I love this washi tape this time. It just it just thrills me. So the question is, how am I going to use it? I think I can do it. Let's see what we got here. Yep. A little bit of stamping. A little bit of fun. Color down here. Oops, let's move that over a little bit. 
Yeah. So we have some joy here. And for these, what I'm going to do is, what's one thing that brings me joy? What's one thing that gives me hope? That type of thing. So, and what's one thing that I love so much? <laughs> okay? So, it doesn't have to be a thing. It could be a person, a place. Yeah, this is working nicely, actually. I don't plan these out. Obviously, if I did, I'd be more organized, but I like the creative aspect of doing this on a video. So let me close up my ink. Um, Hobby Lobby, I think. Yeah. So maybe we can add in. I have, let's see here. I have some stickers. So I wouldn't mind adding just little splotches of colors. So why don't we, let's see here. Let's add this right here. Actually, no, let's do it down here. Okay, let's put this larger one up here. And we can do a, this one. That's cute. Okay, down here. Or what we could do, <laughs> obviously not planned. I'll put this one here since it's larger. And I'll put this one down here. So I have a place here. I'll put a Walt Whitman quote. I have some journaling to do here. This bled a little bit, but not too much. It's fine. I have this. I like that. And then on this side, what are we going to list or what are we going to do here? Do I want to use another printable? I guess I could. And truthfully, I don't know how much I can write on this one, but I like this one a lot. So I think we will use that here and maybe do some embellished stenciling embellishments around it. So let me add some glue here. All right, let's move some of this out of the way. Yeah, I do love these colors, I gotta tell you. Okay, let's put this one over here. And I know it's not entirely even, that's okay. And then maybe what we can do is move the stickers and just add some of these little, you know, little flourishes to make it a little bit happier. I think for these, I'm going to use my mild liners. Uh, I don't have a big collection of them, but it's at least something. Whoops, knocked over my glue. So why don't we start up here and we're going to do this one stencil it in and it is definitely a case of practicing with these uh, there we go and if it's necessary especially when there's such small little spots I'll go over it like that and I'll bring this one down here mm -hmm. very cute very cute I know everybody's crazy about the Tombow markers. To be honest with you, I haven't tried them yet. So that's something I need to do. Now, I didn't put in this top piece here, that flourish. That's okay. I did that on purpose. So I'm going to be consistent with that. Good. That's kind of bright, but it works, doesn't it? Now, we have other flourishes we can add or not. We can... I do, wait, there's little flowers somewhere on these. Yes, I like these very much. So I think we'll do some of those. Um, hmm, I would rather go with a blue for this. I think I'm actually going to use the colored pencils now because they have more shades. I picked these up on Amazon. They were really reasonable. Let's do a nice bright blue. Okay, so let's kind of see here. Okay, so we're going to put them over to the side a little bit. And I'm going to use this one, which I use a lot, truthfully. Um, for the middle, I wouldn't mind using like a bright yellow. I think that'll look good. There we go. You know what would be cool? 
I know that um, Lights Planner Action has blackout paper. I think that would be kind of cool in one of these, although I don't know how, how I would do it. But she has blackout planner inserts. She sells, I believe it's the first week of every month. They look great. I haven't tried them yet, but I'd be curious to do that with like a bullet journal type of thing. There we go. And I'm going to do one more up here. Oops. Let's do this first. And yeah, I find the creativity of this inspiring, relaxing. And as I've said before, I think this helps me write more. Cute. That's perfect. Oops, this wash is coming up. Let's go down here and do the same thing. We'll put one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me finish these up. Okay, so I stenciled those there. So, so far, let's see where we are. We have this for the quote, this for some journaling. These are just gonna be little touchstones. I may use black and put a quote here from Whitman. Yeah, I think, and yeah, I think we're pretty good for right now. And maybe I'll do some more stenciling and create some more of these boxes. But you know what? I think for today, this is a little, well, yeah, let's leave it at that for today. Um, and I'll continue this journey of journaling with you. Let's see here. By the way, this calendar I made in Canva and I shrunk it um, to match the theme of this Coco Daisy kit. It's not for sale. I'm not, you know, I just thought it would go nicely. I think this works. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? What the heck? Let's put a few more boxes down and then we'll call it a day. What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. I know I said I wouldn't, but hey. <laughs> So I think this time I'm going to use this. It's a little more rounded. So I'm just going to, I like using um, the boxes horizontally. I'm going to continue with this blue. Uh, I like a horizontal planner. I like journaling horizontally a little better than the vertical. It's just for me easier to write. Okay, one, and then we move this one over. Okay, two, and then we have three, and then we have four. Okay, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to start over here actually, oops, see, sometimes with the fold, it's a little harder to stencil, but that's okay. If you make a mistake, you can cover it with washi or anything else. Okay, so that was a little wonky. That's okay. And let's see here. Whoops. Okay, and these are the stickers with the planner add-on kit with the days of the week. And I actually, I don't like using them in my personal planner, but I think in here they're perfect. They're small, they work. I put this here. Wednesday. And Thursday. Okay. So now what I think I will do is add a few of these fish stickers, which I haven't been using, but why not? Kind of cover up some of the mistakes, right? Why not? So let's take this big boy, the koi, koi stickers is what I should say they are. They're fish, but they're koi specifically. Will this work here? Yeah, that kind of works. And we'll put another one up here. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. Put this one, we'll go with some blue colors over here. And one more, let's put another blue. Okay, good. And over here, um, if you recall, 
I cut that, so I want to put this over here again for another quote. And I think I'll add some embellishments to this, and we'll be good. Okay, planner friends, we are good. Looks good to me. It's fun, it's colorful. Um, for here, what I'd like to do is, excuse my reach, <laughs> is I'm gonna use this printable for Father's Day. So let's put that in on the next page. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put that here. And I think I'm going to embellish this a little bit more, but I don't want this video to be too, too long. So let me do some stenciling and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I think we've embellished this a bit. So let's go back through it. So this was previously, here we have place for the quote, place for journaling, little bit of hope, faith and joy, or love, faith and joy. We have this for another quote, as long as I use a very dark ink. And we have some days of the week here, another quote spot. And you can see I added on, I tried to pick up on these, right? The lily pads and so forth. And then we have this for Father's Day. We have the visual triangle here, same with that. I might add a little bit more here, but that's for me to play with. So that is my next week or so journaling spread in my Print Pression Weeks planner. Thanks so much for joining me, planner friends. Have a great day and happy Father's Day. Bye.